why people don't, don't know the yeah, difference yeah. between mashallah and inshallah no that's false of course they do no, they do yeah, yeah, yeah. Nikki. And Nikki, <laughs> do you know the difference between mashallah and inshallah I do. what's what mashallah the difference thank you so much for joining us today <laughs> <laughs> no i do it is um oh the hands are hands are bonded <laughs> <laughs> She's like this. No, i do i do yeah. i do just give me a second so inshallah. okay so it's true right. so it's true guys, <laughs> guys. going into shopping centers and the air conditioning is almost like it's peak winter in Switzerland. Yeah. Does anyone have that problem? Yeah. Yeah. I you have, have to it. go in with a park up. Actually, that's the yeah. best thing about Dubai. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> that is the best thing. And the funny thing is, people yeah. are wearing. What's the thing that you can get in your hometown mm -hmm. that you wish you have it here in Dubai? Deep, meaningful relationships. Bro, yeah. you can still have it here. I mean, it's very let me let, let me explain. That, but let, that's let, the thing. But let me explain. Let me explain. That, that's why it's all special because but, it's very difficult but, to find. But let me explain. Have you ever tried telling yourself "I love you" in front of the mirror? Mm. Kind of like a stepping stone into healing. Really? Yes. Yeah. I do that yeah, yeah, guys, guys are never gonna no, do that. No, 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 I do. Guys are never no. gonna go to the mirror. I love you. No, 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 no. I'll be like one of the Emirates. One of the Emirates is cozy. Feels like Sweden. <laughs> I, give it, I give it a solid seven. Uh, yes. I give it a six. I, I give it a lot, solid Mall seven. Of the Emirates, nine out of ten. Yeah. It's dead. It's yeah. dead. Yeah. Yeah. It's dead. It's, it's the all, best it's place in Dubai. It's all Vladimir's and Vlatas. It, it's only it's Vladimir's, all Vladimir's and Vlatas. That's <laughs> near. That's near. That's all in, oh my oh, God. Yeah. That's a one. Do ten. we have a zero? Do hey, we I have a zero? Do we have a zero? That's a one. Which one? So today I have the most beautiful panel ever. One of them, she's taking a picture. I don't know why. She's still taking <laughs> a, a picture right now. <laughs> so today, first of all, thank you for clicking on this episode. I think it would be very entertaining. And whether you live in Dubai or you want to visit Dubai or you've been here before, you're going to have a lot of insights. Mm -hmm. So this episode also is a little bit special because it's a collaboration between me and the, an amazing podcaster, Souk. What's up, bro? How are What's you doing? Up, man? So uh, if you don't know Souk, the, the link of his podcast is Sick. in the description box. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be about Dubai business. We have some interesting challenges. So uh, bring a cup of tea or a, a coffee, whatever you I drink. My <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, enjoy. So first of all, let's start with the with the ladies. We're going to do an introduction for Ooh. each one of you. Uh, Raja, you've been here before, so we're going to start with Nikki. Of Nikki course. is the oh. first time with uh, Lady in red. Way, everybody been here except you and Sue. Lady. Yeah, I haven't oh been here. Yeah, this yeah, is, yeah. So I Nikki, feel out of place, but I'm okay. <laughs> So, Nikki, briefly tell us about you quickly. What you what you doing here? What am I doing here in Where this room, from? or just in general? No. So I am. I'm from Australia. I've been in Dubai now for three years. I was originally in the corporate world, and then I moved my way into being a founder, and I'm building two startups at the moment. Um, I've Amazing. also got a community, the DXB Female Founders Community, for women entrepreneurs and a podcast. Uh, she leads the way for women in business. Amazing. So we have like one, two, three podcasters. Yeah. That's interesting, right? <laughs> uh, Raja, please, uh, a brief introduction about yourself. Well, Raja, I'm Moroccan. I'm a real estate agent. I've been doing real estate for the past five, six years between Qatar and Dubai. I've been completely focused on Dubai for the past two years, and I'm happy to be here again with you. Amazing. Bardia, you, everybody know you, so let, 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 we keep you the last one, all right? <laughs> so let's go to Souk briefly. <laughs> Souk, so, uh, I'm um, Syrian, born and raised in Qatar, moved to Dubai a few years ago, and I work in the construction and real estate development sector. Mm. Amazing. So the, mm. all, we're all the love-hate relationship with the field, but it's all good. Yeah. Amazing. I love the way they said Qatar. Yeah. <laughs> you know I mean? Qatar. Bardia. Yeah. We, have, we have at least that in common. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. rare to find that. No, Bardia. About but you, nothing. Man. I run a company called Generate. We shoot content. We help real estate companies with their content and lead generation. Very, very engaging and entertainment content. And, and from Sweden. Yeah, I'm Swedish. Swedish, yeah. My Swedish, Ikea. Yeah. My parents are from Iran, but I'm Swedish. I can't really. Amazing, I can't amazing. really say I'm Iranian and by culture. Yeah. So, okay. As you can see, it's like uh, there is a bit of everything here. Like we have Europe, Australia. We have even Australia. It's a I know. I made my way all the way here. The United Colors yeah. of Benetton. And I'm Algerian, <laughs> so I represent Africa, me, me and you, uh, uh, Raja. So, look. It's interesting that w Dubai, it's, it's a city where there is like, it's a metropolitan city, like there's people from all around the world. And a lot of people around the world, especially in the Western world, let's say, they don't understand why Dubai is attracting a lot of people. So because Bardia and Nikki, they're from 
like no, you're not from the West, but, but somehow like you're from Australia, Bardi, yeah. Part of the world, yes. So is Australia the worst part of the world? Yes. I didn't know. Australia well, technically, it's we're like it's on continent. It's like, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean, Our, not face on. It's from the other side of the globe. Yeah, but we're technically cool. So yeah, that sort of background. Let me start with Nikki. Okay. So the, the the question, this question, everybody will answer it. It's how and especially why you pick Dubai as a destination and to live in, not only to okay. visit. Well, let's do, Dubai picked me. Let's <laughs> oh, <laughs> you're lucky. Ooh. I wish I'm picked by Dubai. Oh, I like this. This is a good start. So yeah. humble. Huh? So, uh, yeah. so actually, uh, the funny thing is, I uh, I was originally going to go to New York. It was always my dream my whole entire life to move to New York. I was like, it's going to happen ever since I was 13. And I was going to move there with the company that I was working with at the time. And I was like, oh my gosh, it's finally happening. And then out of nowhere, I was approached by a social media startup with an opportunity. I was like, hmm, first of all, like, where is Dubai on the map? Is it like, where am I going? No, I'm kidding. I knew where it was. But I, I just sort of thought there was something in my gut that told me that this was the right thing. And so I just said yes. And I moved my way over about five weeks later. And I guess the rest is history. I knew the minute that I landed yeah. that mm -hmm. it was the right place. I just mm -hmm. knew with all of my So body. since when you're here, like how many years have you been here? It's just been almost, so it's two and a half years. I always say three, I just round up by six yeah. months. But you're still in the honeymoon period. I yeah. am. <laughs> no, but I feel like I've how, been how here long, for 20 how long years. How does the honeymoon last? Yeah. yeah. I don't know, for me, I'm yeah. still in honeymoon period. And I'm how long have you been? On and off, 11 years. Years. I okay. took a four year break. That's yeah. a long ass four year break. <laughs> yeah, and I got headhunted to America. I Did took a little so break and then I came back. What yeah. happened to you? Yeah. So, uh, boy, that's an interesting story. Raja also want to know because somehow people who, who've been to Qatar, it's not a big difference, right, between Qatar and the UAE. It's almost the same culture. Same, almost the same vibes. I want to say the same. It's not well, the uh, same exactly. vibe. But he means it from one perspective, I think. Like, like culture, just by being no, a two-hour safety, flight? Safety, real estate. <laughs> yeah, Probably I guess. Probably just the location. Yeah. Because, I mean, we're like in GCC. And yeah, of course, safety. Yeah. Qatar is a very safe country. Mm -hmm. But other than that, Qatar and Dubai are extremely, extremely <laughs> different. Qatar is very conservative. Uh, it's very quiet. Uh, it's a beautiful country. However, it's yeah nothing like but dubai. why you so why you you came here i'm not gonna ask you why you went to qatar i'm gonna i just want to know why you f switched from qatar to dubai what was the reason well the reason is uh, to be honest i think we've had this conversation previously yeah but it's a new episode <laughs> it's a new episode for the Has people who changed? for the people who are here for the first time they, they deserve to know um to be honest i feel like see um I'm someone who likes to be challenged all the time. I'm someone who cannot really stay much in a comfort zone. I have, like, th this is a pattern of mine. So when yeah. I was in Morocco, I could not stay in Morocco. It was like a comfort zone for me. I needed a new challenge. That's when yeah. I decided to go to Qatar, like, for a new adventure, a new experience. I did the same thing in Qatar. Um, I've tried everything that is to be tried. I've done everything that I could um, do there, mm -hmm. but it wasn't serving my purpose anymore. I needed to go somewhere else where upgrade. I could uh, exactly. Mm -hmm. I needed an upgrade and I needed um, challenge. a challenge. Mm -hmm. So Dubai is a challenge, and if anybody says it's the opposite, I would strongly disagree. Yeah, I mean, Rajesh is my friend. She's uh, addicted to challenges. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, also because Souk, you somehow have the same. Uh, story like your story is a little bit similar to Raja in terms of you've been to Qatar as well and you came here so was it the same uh, thing you the same reasons for you to come here or? it's just the the thing is with construction and with development you just have to go where the money is right so yeah. you just you follow the money so wherever there is capital um, that's where the construction is so um, a lot of the construction work or the development and uh, things like that or basically similar yeah. assets were um, in Saudi and in Dubai after the World Cup in Qatar. So because Qatar built all they needed to build more or less. Yeah. So the hype the, was done, was, was gone, done. Well, it's like, halas, they just, they just plateaued to, to a certain extent. So obviously the new market was Saudi and Dubai. And as you can see, it's absolutely crazy here. Yeah. So that's what's happening. So you see a lot of construction companies or construction or people from that particular uh, industry moving into these markets. It's just so much more opportunity there. And when you have that much opportunity, your margins are much bigger. And yeah. when you're and the thing is with construction, you have to work on high margins because it's very high risk. 
Yeah, true. So you could lose a lot of money very quickly if things go wrong. So you can't work on tight margins. That's why bigger companies or companies that are looking to establish in a specific place, they have to work at comfortable margins. Amazing. So yeah, I mean, it makes sense. It's mm -hmm. like for you and Raja, it's a career move more than something else. Even for you. Yeah, yeah definitely. You know, well, 100%. to be honest, well, for me, it wasn't just a career move. It was in general also like a personal yeah, choice. I, I, yeah, it's a personal choice. There is one thing yeah. here that you'll, you'll find most people uh, agree upon is that it's a very, very scalable city. So in the sense that um, whatever it is that you're in, it's very scalable. So it's always expanding in everything in terms of market, in terms of population, in terms of uh, demand, in terms opportunities. of opportunities. Mm -hmm. So it's just, it, there's just really no limit to the growth. So it's accommodating people from everywhere. Yeah, mm -hmm. the like the, the, the where they want to reach is limitless. We don't know where, like for example, Qatar, we know after the World Cup, it will flop. In Dubai, we'll say, oh, what's gonna happen after Expo 2020? And a lot of things happened. But now I want to know uh, about Bari, even though I know just for the sake of the episode, like what mm -hmm. was the reason? Sweden to Dubai. Man, listen, my mom and my dad were in the country somewhere and he said, and they said, we haven't done a trip because I'm very tight with my parents. Like, very, yeah, very, I can very see tight that. with my parents. So they said, I, I go to my mom, <coughs> why don't we go New Why don't I see you guys in New York? You get a flight from Paris or whatever it was. And me and my dad can go watch basketball. My mom was like, nah, jet lag, flight, blah, 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 blah. Why don't we meet each other in Dubai? When they said Dubai, you know, Western media, brainwashing, Arabs, you know, terrorism. riding camels, terrorism, all that stuff. I'm like, I'm not gonna sit. Now, why am I? What am I gonna do in an Arabic country? All of that, you know, yeah. brainwashing. My mom said, Listen, you love America, you're gonna love Dubai. Do it for me. I said, Cool. <laughs> I come down there, similar to you, but after about three, four days, I realized we're laying on the beach, and I realized. I see so many cranes. I start Googling. I think 60 or 70% of all the cranes in the world was here. There Which was year was con this? This is 2012, March. All right. March 2012. Actually, third of the cranes in the world are in Dubai. You is see, that right? Now, yeah. yeah. But back then, it was more. Oh, was my gosh. Yeah. yeah. So I was like, I can, wow. That's and, hilarious. And I just thought, I just, I just, <laughs> a real estate wasn't even a, a, a thought of mine. I was trying to find a way in my life what I'm interested in doing. I go back. I start watching the initial episodes, the first episodes of, of it wasn't Selling Sunset. What was the one with Friedrich, uh, uh, Friedrich that Swedish broker, and Ryan Serhant before oh, he became yeah. Silver? Million Dollar Listing. Million Dollar Listing in New York yeah. back in 2012. <laughs> that was one of my favorite And I got shows. into it. I got into real estate, start checking out real estate in Sweden, and exactly, exactly um, 11 and a half months after that trip with my mom and dad, I moved to Dubai. I moved to Dubai on the 1st of March, 2013. Um, so similar to everyone's story for me it was more I moved to London I went to studied in London for four years worked in London and I opened my eyes for the world not yeah. just Gothenburg I come from a small like it's the second largest in in the in, in Sweden but it's a shithole it's 800,000 people <laughs> there's nothing everyone knows everyone everyone knows everyone so that London made it like more international minded and for me it was just you know and I yeah. just wanted to make money I was yeah. very, very money, money driven back then. You came then. here with a dream. Yeah. Yeah, everybody yeah. here everybody. came. But you feel like you, there is, it's like a shortcut, especially for people who come from the third world countries. It's a really good shortcut. Like mm. people from the two, like people from Europe and the US, they don't see Dubai like us, but it's an amazing uh, shortcut to success. All right, so because we all come from a different background, from a different region of the world, mm -hmm. and we're living here in Dubai, like the least person with, with the experience here or time is, is you, it's two years and a half. Even though I will, you from Qatar, I will, yeah. I will say like it's, it's the same thing in terms of culture because we're, you're not in your home countries. And plus we used to, I mean, I personally yeah. used to go back and forth a lot. A lot, yeah. And, and so here. do you think that in terms of identity, Dubai changed you like, your your philosophy of life or the way you see life because you lived in dubai did you do you think that there is certain um let's say principles in life that changed after coming here or is still you're still the same person 100 percent personally i think um well for me i am incredibly different to when i landed but i don't think dubai necessarily had anything to do with it i think it was the transition or the life phase that i was going through at the time mm -hmm. i think it could be easy to get caught up in what dubai has to offer like very easily. I know when I first came here, you were going to 
all the brunches, all the yacht parties, all the blah, blah, blah. And it was just a Dubai is an absolute Disneyland. Yeah. And it's so easy to get caught up into everything. And it's fun. Um, but then you sort of, you know, you reground yourself and you think, okay, well, what am I here for? Uh, like, yeah. What's my hustle? Like, what do I need to do in order to get there? And then you sort of focus on that. But I do think that if you don't have a strong sense of yourself, it would be so easy to get tied up in, mm. I guess, the different personas that Dubai yeah. has to offer. So you think it's it, wh wherever, if you were stayed in Australia or went to New York, you'll be the same Nikki as of now because of what you've been through as in, like, yeah, work I, or career, it has nothing to do with Dubai. I personally think so. I, I personally think that I would have... I would have still had this transition or this yeah. growth. Self-development's always been very important. So for me, uh, like what it, my inner growth has been is paramount. Yeah. I know that sounds actually really cheesy. No, no, no. no. <laughs> I go to like, where, like yeah, whatever city you'll be in, that change will happen eventually. I just think that it's nice to be able to enjoy the things that the city has to offer. And I have definitely taken advantage of that. Uh, but my priority is always, what is it that I need to do in order to get better? So if there's anything, any external factors that would inhibit me from doing that, I just wouldn't do it. Of course, yeah, I, get, I got your point, I got your point. It's like you have your principles set yeah. since the beginning, they will not change. Yes. I got your point. It's what you make of it. Yeah. yeah. I mean, this city is really what you make of it. If you want to mess around, fuck around, do whatever it is, you could do that. If you want to be a good boy, you could also do that. If you want to hang out with the wrong crew, you could do yeah. that. And, and it's you easy wanna... to do all of it. And it's yeah. easy to do all of it. It's a, it's a city of choices. And if you come here, you have free will to do whatever you want. As long as you don't break the law, then... Do all yeah. of it. Do yeah. all of it. <laughs> I mean, I'm telling you, because the thing is, people uh, always complain about this. And I'm like, listen, it's what you make of it. There's a club here and then there's a mosque here. So it's like... Yeah, yeah you, you have to yeah, pick. Yeah. 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 There's you know. a, there's some churches as well. There's like three, four church churches, churches, yeah. temples. There's everything. Okay, there's, you know, I don't yeah. know. You know but that was that was just that was a subliminal <laughs> line. He took it and ran with it. Like, we got churches. We got everything. <laughs> <laughs> like, he was trying to. <laughs> what about you, Raza? Do you think Dubai changed <clears throat> you as a person fundamentally? Of course not. No, I feel not fundamentally. No, I mean I'm always the person I am. I think I'm just getting better with time. Um, and definitely, I feel like Dubai. What it does to you, it just kind of it's like it motivates you so much. Mm. Motivation on steroids. Steroids, steroids mm. yeah. Exactly, mm. because I mean you look around and wherever you look, you find people who are doing things that are very passionate about. Mm. You look, you, you, whatever. Like for instance, whether I'm sitting in a, in a hotel lobby or like I'm here, I see people doing things that they really love and enjoy, and they're successful at what they're doing. So it kind of pushes you and motivates you mm. to be the best version of yourself. For me, in that sense, I feel like Dubai it kind of enhances you. Yeah. But again, it's it is it is what it is. It is what it's, it is. It's, it's it is what make what you make of it. Yeah, I don't know you, what yeah, I'm yeah it is what you make. <laughs> but it's not a city for losers for sure. 100%. Oh yeah. It's yeah. not a city for losers. Yeah. If you're All a loser and you come to you're gonna be broken on the street. Like, no, you yeah. can be a loser, but you're gonna still live in a studio after 15 years and yeah. pay rent yeah. and never exactly. buy anything yeah. and yeah. just get no caught ambition. up in the drinking five days a week. Yeah. You can still live here yeah. and be a loser, like you yeah, said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what think, about you, Bardi? Man, listen. I know, like anyone that says Dubai has anyone that says Dubai hasn't changed me, they're lying. Change you or <laughs> change? No, change the, anyone change that says you. that it hasn't changed. Like, Bro, you, oh, you have the energy to change Dubai. No, I'm no. Telling you, the I thing is, know. they're lying. They're lying. Stop lying to yourself. First of all, it, it, if it changes you, positive or negative, is what you have to look at because it will change you. It, I agree with everything everyone says, hundred percent. But we all go through phases of life, regardless where we are, especially in a capitalistic place. This is a, this is a, the ultra capitalism there is. Okay, yeah, if you if you've taken a step to move here because you want to grow and evolve, means that you are very open to receive capitalism, which sure. means further on that if you don't have your feet on the ground, it's very easy to become crooked ethically. Let's yeah. just keep it all the way real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, I agree, bro. I think the best medicine to not lose ground on who you actually are and who your parents basically brought you up to be with your ethicals within your family within your culture within your village wherever you come from is you need to travel home minimum a month a year to go back and revisit those old places and kind of if because every time I go back I come back to Dubai and I look over that month or two that I'm back home and I feel like I've changed back a little bit more to me because the yeah. city will swallow you whole yeah. either That's in true. work either in work will swallow you whole because listen 
if you have a house, let's talk about real estate. If you have a house 5,000 square feet, you were watching the houses at 15,000. Now you're chasing the houses for 15,000. If you have a house at 30,000 square feet, now you're chasing the house with 60,000 square feet. Okay, so there's always something bigger than you. There is no cap, there is no limits. Meaning that if you're a driven person, you were always trying to achieve more and more and more. In that sense, it could swallow you whole. Yeah. Another example is what she just exactly said about your parties, all of this stuff. Or you can become a semi-alcoholic and always live regular, not have aims to do anything with your life and just enjoy the high life. So it changes everyone in a certain way. How does it change you and how is that affecting you is the question you need to ask yeah. yourself. You see I, what I'm saying? Either Dubai will win or you'll win. So it's Basically. Like, yeah, it's it's like, not a city for the week, that's for sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a very, very, very challenging city. And, um, yeah, but I love it. I love but let it. Me, let me come back to what you said. You talked about like coming back to Sweden and all of that. Mm. This is a very interesting question that I have, guys. Mm. What is the thing, I, w I wanna start with you, Bardia, in this. Mm -hmm. What's the thing that you can get in your hometown mm -hmm. that you wish you have it here in Dubai? That you um, can get it deep, there, but here. Deep, meaningful relationships. Right. And you can still have it here. I mean, it's very let, me, let, let me explain. That, but, let, let, thing, but let me explain. Let me explain. That, that's why it's all special. Because but let, it's very difficult but, to find But it. let me explain. This is, this is the, what I, I'm not saying you can't find it. I'm saying it's much, much easier because, again, back home is not hyper, hyper capitalism. Mm. Back home after 6, 7 p.m., people actually enjoy life in a different way. I'm working 24-7 here. True. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So agree. all the relationships you make, like AJ and we discussed in that podcast, yeah. everything you everything is based upon meeting someone, have a meeting, see them for a coffee in order for it to lead somewhere. If it doesn't lead nowhere, you're probably never going to speak to that individual again unless you see them out, say what's up, a little like on Instagram, and that's it. Back home, you ain't got no choice. Your friends are your friends, and they got friends, and we all grow older. Like that's your that's city. That's the thing. That's you could also from. take time out for yourself here and try to mingle with the crowd that you want to be. Uh, you can. With. I'm not saying it's impossible, but I'm just saying that in order to in order to find one deep, meaningful relationship in Dubai, you really need to maybe. I'm just throwing out a number for you to understand what I'm trying mm. to say. You need to meet a thousand people. <laughs> Back home, you need to meet fifty. I yeah. think, like yeah. for me, I, I think I, that I, when it comes to people, you can meet people all the time through networking events, but finding your people... That's what I'm saying. Yeah, can be a little more tricky. And I, I think that Dubai, it is very much a hustle culture. So people, because it's so fast paced, people have their agendas and their priorities. And that sometimes is difficult because there is a slight ingenuity ingenuity mm. yeah. 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 when you're meeting with people because you might have that connection mm -hmm. yeah. but then mm -hmm. it's like oh did I get what I wanted uh, on to the next and then there you're you like go. hello I thought there we actually go. no I, I agree with you in that yeah. sense there but I go. do believe I have met really really good people but it does take a little bit of digging yeah. Yeah. to find I'm them. really happy for you that you've done that because I've been on and off here for 11 years I can only say that people that I can call on a Friday just randomly and talk and we don't even work in the same field I can't even I can't even like I can count them on two three fingers yeah I, I, I better be sad. one of those I better be <laughs> one of those oh, yeah, people yeah, 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 otherwise yeah. you're not gonna stay yeah, yeah. But, you see, but you understand what I'm trying to yeah, say yeah, like what we did when I came back from Paris and that when we went bowling me you all of us yeah. we, like that kind of stuff you yeah. could have been in a whole different field. You could have been a whole different field. We could be in completely different fields. We didn't happen to be in that case. But yeah. We, but we went bowling and had some, whatever, we a couple of drinks, a, a pasta, whatever, and just talk random shit. That is very, very rare. Yeah, but for, for obvious reasons. Mm. Yeah. You can't come here and expect that everyone wants to wake up in the morning and start being social 11 o'clock. Because like, like it's a hustle culture, as she said. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, of course. But of let, course. Me, let me talk about Australia a little bit. Sure. So as a, the, the question was like, what's the thing that you wish, the thing that you have in your, back, in your home country and you wish it's here as well? Is it the same thing as Barty has said for your case or there's something else? No, so you, you went very deep and meaningful with your answer. Like the first thing that I think of is, you know when you go down the street and you can just pick up a sushi roll from like <laughs> yeah. a restaurant and mm. then walk around with your sushi roll? Here, I just feel like you've got beautiful, amazing bars and restaurants, but nowhere that you can just sort of pick up something on the go. 
Everything yeah. is like Edian. And then further to that point, and this is one I'll be a little bit more aggressive with, but that is going into shopping centers and the air conditioning is almost like it's peak winter in Switzerland. Yeah. Does anyone have that problem? Yeah. I, I have, have to it. go in with a park up. Actually, that's the yeah. best thing about Dubai. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> that is the best thing. And the funny thing, thing is that people are wearing Kandura. I, I know, know. Like you got, you got my best way, When it's in the middle of the like, summer and you're sweating your ass really? off, that trust me, that's the best oh, feeling in the world once you open that AC. freezing. Yeah, so for you is the... It's How? the basic things like I, you know, like I definitely I would echo the the relationships. I think when you do go back home, you realize what I'm not going to say real people because I've met so many real people here. Yeah. Um, but that just, connection, it's of, the it connection, yeah. the slightly slower, slower paced life. Yeah, it's the it's the knowing that there are more meaningful things yes. in life. It's perspective mm -hmm. and it's it's like where you are in your career isn't mm. the be all end all and it, that just becomes so much more apparent when you're i guess in yeah little home listen guys i had this experience like you and nikki for the first year but then the next year i decided to do something about it and my whole perspective on on relationships with people changed once i actively started looking for the crowd that i want to be part of yeah my whole perspective of difference. the city changed and I started finding the people that you actually could have a very meaningful connection what did, with. What did you do? Basically, yeah, I just please. started. <laughs> it's just, it's just the, the outings that you go to, mm -hmm. uh, the quality of the people, the criteria of the people that you look for, uh, the, the people, like you're not gonna find, for example, you're not gonna find the quality of people that you are looking for in specific areas in Dubai that you, we all know. Yeah. yeah. You, know, you can right? say like, bars, clubs, you can say whatever bars. it is, you know, whatever it is. Five, uh, palm. Yeah. And, and then definitely you have, not in five, and palm. also like sports, you meet the most amazing people because that's yeah. pretty much what I do. That's another thing. Uh, third thing is I also like, even with my podcasts, honestly, like you, once you start really digging and start looking for actual like quality people, especially yeah. ones that you can have on your, on your show Social you level. realize you're like oh shit this city really has a lot to offer like there is there are endless yeah. choices mm. endless mm. what about you because me and the uh, raja were from the same region i'm algerian is moroccan um what do you think about like is w what's the thing that it's not available in north africa well it's available in north africa but not here four seasons yeah, that's the. She jumps on luxury. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Four seasons. No, Dubai yeah. hasn't changed me. That's how you know. She's in, that's how you know. That's how you know no, she's in luxury. Four seasons. Uh, Come on, <laughs> give us something more valuable. I mean, four, no, no, there's four, four seasons. You mean no, oh, four oh, seasons in the hotel? hotel. Not the whole the hotel. Uh, four seasons. Yeah, yeah. I miss. I miss wearing that. that, that in Dubai, the trench coat. Bro, just go to that trench coat. Mall of the Emirates. You have the four seasons. No, that's Winterland, bro. Look, Dubai. There is. There is the yeah, summer. Hotel. No, no, no. Oh, we, we have plenty of four seasons in Morocco, and we have the best four seasons in the world. I'm sure you there's snow in Morocco. Yeah. There. yeah. Snow in Morocco? Yeah, yeah. Where? Yeah. In Algeria as well. I'll we tell have you like, where it snows. It's amazing. I'll, I'll tell you where it snows. After in the podcast, we can, we can show you, <laughs> okay. bro. So in Dubai, there is two seasons. There is summer and there is hell. So <laughs> hell usually happens uh, between uh, August till... Uh, yeah. Well, okay. Agree. Yeah. Yeah, I so mean, I want to I want to ask you guys something. Sorry, mm -hmm. I was just jumping directly, but this this is something that I really want to know, because we're talking about Dubai like it's the best place in the world. It is. Mm -hmm. It is. But guys, I when want you to when it's not oh, summer. Huh? When, when it's, it's not, not summer. summer. When it's yeah. not summer. No, but like, uh, listen to my question. Okay. What's the worst thing about Dubai? Uh -huh. Except the heat and the traffic. Um, Don't mention heat and traffic. Okay. okay. Yeah, Shall I, I say? Was, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go can ahead. I start? Yeah. People think I'm very aggressive in the real estate world. And, <laughs> you know, I'm too honest. Honestly speaking, I think it's negative competition. Negative competition. Yeah. What's negative? Elaborate. Negative competition is that, that people are not big enough to understand their weaknesses and hate on others because they got strengths. Do you think this is only in Dubai? Do you think that happens publicly? Um, no, but within your field, you notice certain things. Um, I think it's based a lot because it's a new place as well, and so many cultures, um, various cultures, like you don't get the same type of clash in London. London is competition, Stockholm there's competition, but it's not just because I feel I'm worse, I don't do podcast as good as you, mm. now I got this animosity towards you. I'm trying to learn what you do and become friendly with you instead. Mm. Here, I mean, we're in real estate. Like, it's not a friendly competition. It's a very negative, 
like not a constructive competition. But do, do you think it's real estate or Dubai? And gossip and, no, I'm talking because about the real estate in Miami. I, maybe it's the same thing. I, I know. I know several people in different segments. They say the same thing that they don't have no idea about real estate in Dubai. So I think the competition, like I said, when it comes to ultra capitalism mm -hmm. and coming back to that whole ethical part that I'm talking about, people getting changed a little bit and get blinded, mm -hmm. right? It changes you in certain ways that you might not want to admit to yourself because you're not being truthful to yourself. Okay, mm -hmm. I see more negative competition within with my own eyes. Maybe I'm always looking in the wrong place, or maybe I'm always in the wrong uh, wrong place. I don't know, but I see more negative and you know not constructive competition than positive competition. All right, like let's elaborate. Let's do something and let's let's not stab each other in the back. Yeah, mm -hmm. you understand what I'm trying to say? Yeah, of course. This is something that I really can't stand. But I run my own company. I hold my own. I don't care too much about it. Good, good, good. What about you, Suk? What I what I hate or what? You're so far from the mic. You're so <laughs> I wish like. And he's screw. a podcaster. Yeah, <laughs> like yeah I'm not used to this. Uh, what I hate the most about Dubai, except uh, the heat and the traffic, okay, wait, is the I fact that know. your money evaporates before it even hits Ooh. your account. Ooh. <laughs> That's a big one, bro. Bro. That's a big one. That, really, it evaporates even behind. You before leave the house, come here, home, thousand dirham. What did what did I do? Wallahi, if you yeah, look yeah, at yeah. it, it's just. You just put your foot out and that's it. Like kaching. Yeah, it's Dubai. It's, it, it sucks your money like crazy. What about you, Raja? I feel like the thing that I don't like about Dubai that is extremely high paced, fast yeah. paced, yeah. Yeah. that you feel like you're caught in that rat race. Yeah. You yeah. feel like you literally yani, have no way out. I personally struggle with that. I, mm -hmm. We were just having this conversation before we went live that I feel like from the minute I wake up, and I'm a very early bird, like I yeah. wake up very early, 4.45 I'm up. And from that moment, I'm caught up until the moment I go back home. And, and I feel life like- life flies, right? Yeah. Life flies. And, and I actually there was like, there was a moment and that I was starting to get anxiety from mm -hmm. how time flies by so fast here mm -hmm. in Dubai that mm -hmm. it scares me. Whoa. Like this scares the living out of me. I'm yeah. like, how come? Like, it's I promise just you, I promise you, you'll miss it once you get out of it. Trust me, because because to some point, uh, to, to to a certain extent, it's this is what keeps you going, right? Because when you're surrounded by people that like are doing very well and they want to achieve this, this is what pushes you. I mean, but, what was it? One of like a really really interesting book called the Al uh, Almanac like of Naval Ravikant, oh. and in one of the things. Um, chapters. Yeah, one of the chapters, sorry, that he uh, mentions about like cities and places to live in. He's like, always pick a city that pushes you to like the limit. Th yeah, mm -hmm. to the limit. Because if you don't, if you live in a city that's like, okay, it's chill stuff, you're never going to reach your full mm -hmm. potential. It's a good place for vacation. But can I just, can I just, okay, yeah, yeah go, on, go on. No, 100%, I agree with you. And I feel like, to be honest, yeah. like from the time I have completely settled here in Dubai. I feel like I have grown a lot as a person. I have mm. become better. I've even got to know myself mm. better. Yeah. And I really love that. Like, I feel like I ha I am, oh, sorry. I am closer to myself mm. than any time, any mm. other time. Mm -hmm. Because first of all, I have a very, very small circle, so I don't have time to spend on other people. Mm. So whatever time I have during the day, it's for myself. Mm. And that time is like from, like when I wake up, I have like three hours just to myself yeah. to do my prayers to do my workout and to sit and just sit with myself and talk with myself you do prayers yeah wow. i wake up for fajr <laughs> really me too yeah <laughs> so, so yeah that's that's but just guys let's hear nikki nikki okay. she, she i don't know what's the thing she has i have a big buzz. one i have a big one okay so the thing that i don't like about dubai the most which i'm even still trying to register if you go for dinner plans and the dinner plan is say 7 p.m what time do you think that everyone turns up? And I, <laughs> yeah. I love you. Listen, listen. I, call it, I don't do it. Listen, <laughs> because, because we operate on AST, Arab standard yes. timing. No, we, no, 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 no. We <laughs> operate on inshallah land. Oh it's my gosh. Arab, or Arab standard I see you timing. If, inshallah. inshallah. Uh, I don't like that association If an Arab with tells inshallah. you at seven, we show up at eight. I know, I know. That's I know, very bad. Yeah. But but you, but you, that's very bad of me. But, but, but at the same same time I feel like even though it's very wrong of me to say that in the religious form I feel like a lot of people Westerners even Westerners they're not even Muslims they use and abuse that word because it truly means God willing 
Yeah, but yeah. there's no in Dubai. You, you, see what I'm, you see what I'm saying? You know, wait, so, you know, it's you so see funny. what I'm saying? So it's not even about me being disrespectful because I would be disrespecting my mom, my dad, because they're all Muslims. But but it, the, certain words, like same goes with Christianity. Certain things, you know, so easily caught up in everyday yeah. life. So you can, so you don't want to take the. It's just for lack something. of accountability in people. Thank Instead you. of taking responsibility, they blame it on Thank God. You. Shame Thank on you, people. Thank you. Thank you. You see what I'm saying? But, I, I, but in Australia, it's different. Love you for that. In Australia, it's different. People, they come in time. Well, yeah. I mean, it's it is a sign of respect. But for me, I've always been on time or a bit early, and it's just so ingrained in me. Mm. And so I'm always there. I remember going to a, one of my friends parties her birthday parties and i was like oh no and i said i might not make it i was there five minutes early <laughs> the whole party was there like an hour and a half late i was standing at the very beginning uh, sorry i was standing at the entrance of a club and i was like can i just go to the they wouldn't seat me at the table either because the, the party was well, yeah and so i was like at the entrance with the girls i was greeting guests as they were coming in even with though i didn't work there <laughs> so but on this note let me just say again i'm sorry i was late it's okay <laughs> we forgive you oh my god it's fine i was 15 it's minutes fine. late myself all right sitting here like a hypocrite Nika, do you forgive him i forgive I'm you sorry. i forgive you but can i just say one thing regarding yeah this, yeah this please whole thing? yeah Honestly speaking, about the whole pace thing, I have to say though, I I, th I, I think if you know yourself, like you're getting to know yourself because you're considerably younger than me. 10 years ago, I was exactly like you. You didn't know Like yourself. what? Like you don't know yourself to that full extent and it's oh, yeah. easier to get caught up in all of that stuff because everyone's just on full mode to achieve, achieve, achieve. But honestly speaking, me at this stage, I'm, I'm blinded to that. For me, it's just like on the weekend. Ask me what I do. You can call me yeah. anytime in the weekend. Let's chill at home, you, bro. You just, you just know. You just, you don't need to call me. Let's go and knock on Badio's door. I'm home in yeah. boxes with hip hop music in the background. In the in the bedroom, NBA is on full blast. I'm wearing I don't know boxer shorts and a big T-shirt, just walking around eating chips. Two in the afternoon. Everyone else is drinking at Twiggy getting yeah. drunk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I've, I've learned that, you know, life is not just about keep on pushing because it's going to burn me out. I'm saying that now, but I do that every day. But when the weekend comes, I make sure that I don't do nothing. How many I, times I, have, have you, you guys told me to go for a walk in Kite Beach? No, no, no. I was a bro, I I bro, home. listen, I'm not have, you, have you tried the outdoors here? <laughs> what? Have you tried the outdoors, really? What do you mean? Like Basketball? Outdoor, no, just outdoors. Bro, like, Kite like, Beach is like, amazing. Not, not Kite Beach. Yeah, like, I love like Kite Fujay Beach. Like uh, Fujairah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Of course. Uh, yeah, Russell yeah, Khaimah, yeah. yeah these? I'm here in Russell Khaimah next week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of guys, Umar Dawin, Kite Beach. Is the best beach in the UAE. No, 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 heard no, it no, from no, him. no, 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 no. Boom, it is. No, no, no. Queen's kind of. I mean, absolutely not. No, what? but that's what I'm saying. There are beautiful beaches yeah, in Abu Dhabi. No, I want to go to Kite Beach. Cool, 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 and all kinds of people come there, not just snooty people driving Range Rovers, all kinds of people. Yeah. You see a family pull up in a Honda with their little Filipino kids and all <laughs> Why kinds Filipino? of people. Like, oh, no, I'm just saying all kinds of people. <laughs> no, 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 he's just saying. I'm just saying all kinds of people, all kinds of levels, yeah. all yeah. kinds of, you know, when yeah, you yeah. go to certain places. But, but, you, but you see that in Dubai, Kite Beach? I know, there's like nah, 350 yeah. nationalities. Bro, Umar Queen Kite Beach, no. Nah. Umar Queen yeah. Kite Beach is a different story. It, it, but it's the, it's, it's people you've never seen before. Not Kite Beach in Dubai. In my opinion. Yeah. yeah. There's yeah. another Kite Queen. Beach. Now they changed the name to you will Kite never see, Surf like, Center. The Bridge. It's in another in Emirates Umar called Umar Kuwait. You see what Are we I'm talking saying? about that beach club? It's not a club. It's just a beach. There's no alcohol out uh, there. It's a dry yeah. club. But there's seafood platter. Yeah, it's crazy. amazing. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. I mean, You it's... left me hanging, but it's okay. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> all right, guys. Yeah. Okay. Saadiyat Beach in Abu Dhabi. This yeah, is what cool. I said yeah. earlier. Yeah. Saadiyat yeah. Beach is yeah. one of the most yeah. beautiful, beautiful beaches it's here beautiful. in the UAE. So we have to try it. Parts like of I haven't been. Uh, parts I haven't of it been. feel like you're in Maldives. Maldives, exactly. I did a video shoot in Nurai Island. That looks magical, though. Guys, I want to know. So that's where you go next. So we are all here expats, right? Yeah. And probably most of you are not with their families here, right? Yeah. Am I right about that? Unfortunately. Except me. Unfortunately. Thank yeah, God my family is here as well. Uh, don't be jealous, okay, guys? <laughs> so I'm happy for do you. you. Do you? <laughs> thanks, bro. Do you think that, or, or th the question is this. Do you feel lonely in Dubai? Like, is there like a feeling of loneliness in Dubai, especially after, let's say, one year of living here? Because in the beginning, you're like overwhelmed about Dubai. But now, after one or two years, do you feel sometimes lonely here? 
Who you Bro, are. even so, even even if you try to feel lonely, these freaking uh, spam callers will never fucking leave you alone. <laughs> <laughs> They'll fucking call you in the middle of the night, sir. You want credit card? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I have to say though, I have to say, I think it's not just about Dubai. I think a, a lot of people these days actually feel lonely, regardless where they live. It's it's quite you very know true. it's yeah. big, it's very it, it's a digital era. Human interaction is decreased. You walk into an elevator, everyone's in their phones, including myself. <laughs> you have to analyze what's going on and be objective about things. I think everyone, even in Gothenburg, where I come from, Stockholm, people do feel lonelier. It's not just about the city, because life is more expensive than ever. Inflation is at all time high. Um, earnings is not necessarily following with inflation. Everyone don't make the big money so they can comfortably. So everyone's working many more hours per 24 than they do. And when you work and have responsibilities, you ain't got time to be social. Yeah. And that means what? Loneliness. loneliness. You see what I'm saying? So I think everyone do feel lonely. Even my best friend Daniel back home, he feels lonely. lonely at times, yeah. And he's from Sweden, lives in Sweden, can call 20 people. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. But it's I, those I'll times, you. right? It's, it's just what I think. I'll tell you one thing that this in this city specifically, everybody, everybody, or almost everybody is willing to lend out a hand mm. if you're asking for help. Yeah. Sure. Because most of them are doing well. And a lot of people that are doing well are more than happy to help, especially if they see that you're struggling or yeah. if you need support yeah. somewhere. And trust me, you will never get that anywhere else yeah. because I've never picked up the phone and asked for help from anyone and they said no, no. or they didn't offer to help. Yeah, and that's what happens when everybody is pretty much, set. you know, yeah. set yeah. Yeah. And, and comfortable. I agree. And I agree. So it's yeah. it's a good support system. So to say that if you, you feel lonely here, it's exactly uh, what Bardia said. You can feel lonely anywhere. Mm -hmm. But at least here, if you're asking for help, people are going to help you. If you're yeah. stuck in the middle of the road, people are going to help, help you. you. If That's you true. are uh, the, having problems, people are going to help you. Mm -hmm. Bro, you could be dying on the streets of Montreal where I used to live and Whoa. nobody would give a flying exactly. shit yeah, about yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I don't know about Montreal. that. Montreal. <laughs> I mean, yeah. French. Yeah, yeah. What about I think you? It's, I think oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, go ahead, I think go it on. depends on how vulnerable you are as well. Like, there is a big opportunity. If you do speak up, there are going to be people that listen because I think there are a lot of people, particularly in Dubai, that would relate to that as well. Um, but if you are lonely, I think it's an, the easiest city to be able to at least find connection, even if it's a little bit more surface level, mm. because there are, yeah. like, I know that that doesn't help in the short term, but at mm. least you're getting that connection. There are events every weekend, like sim sip and paint events, or mm. there's like every, you know, kite boarding, say wake yeah, surfing, surfing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, kite yeah. surfing, like everything under the sun. So it's more about making the commitment to yourself to be like, okay, I'm really lonely, but what, what can I do? Because there are a million things going on in Dubai. It's just about taking the first step. Mm. So you have to go out there. Yeah. Because there's a lot of you people. Do. The reason I ask this question is a lot of people they say, oh, as an expat specifically, I, I really feel lonely. I'm talking also from the end of the family, you know, because we're not with our families. Oh, like, yeah. In that sense, guys. of course. I would yeah. love for my mom and dad to be with me. Of course. But for you, I know, which is an interesting uh, mm. way to answer it. But go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. I know how. You're like, no, 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 no. No, uh, see, for me, to be honest, I know it's different from one person to another, but I am someone who enjoys extremely being alone. Like, I, for I me... I think it's a Gemini thing. Yeah. I, I can understand you. Oh, um, you bring in Zodiacs? <laughs> <laughs> I like Zodiacs. Oh, I like, I'm a guy, I like Zodiacs. He's like, yeah, I know Zodiacs now. <laughs> Right well, you know what JP Morgan said. I mean, millionaires <laughs> don't believe in astrology. Billionaires do. So <laughs> we're on the billionaires club. Now we're back to the four seasons, the hotel. <laughs> right. Yeah. No, but honestly, like I'm someone who extremely enjoys being alone and I enjoy my own company. Mm -hmm. That's what I said, like being here in Dubai, because I do spend lots of my time alone. I got to discover lots of things about myself. You don't have pets? Uh, see, I love animals, but I realize I really suck at taking care of them. It's cruelty. Animal cruelty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It no, 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 well, no. A cat takes care of itself. No, no, uh, no, 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 no. They need stimulants. To clean they after need stimulants. No, but they need stimulants as well. Uh, yeah. I mean, yeah. see, I've had pets since I came here. I've had like, uh, I've had a cat, and I gave him to a friend of mine because I, I love playing with them and I love having them around, but I don't like the responsibility. Yeah. So yeah, it's like me and babies. <laughs> I can, I can, I can, I can baby, I can, I can babysit your kid over the weekend, but Monday morning, best believe, I want to be by myself again. Oh my god! So yeah, so just kind of to answer your question, so rent a baby basically for you, just yeah. yeah. 
So, yeah. so just to answer your question, I uh, personally, as I said, I enjoy being on my own, but I feel like for me, it's, I don't, I was thinking about it this morning. I don't need connection, but I want connection. It's not a need, it's a want. It's not a need, it's a yeah, want. Okay. Yeah. Yani I can, I, I'm really fine on my own. I personally, like, I laugh at my own jokes. I like, I have, <laughs> voila, and I have yeah, the- You're schizophrenic. <laughs> yes, and I have- You watch friends in the background. Uh, yes, and yeah. I have the deepest conversations like me, yeah. with myself. Yeah. Like, I can, I do enjoy having people and everything. I'm mm. an extreme, extrovert yeah but i for me like um the best person to spend time with is yourself. myself see i yeah. like myself but i need connection i'm desperate for quality connection yeah. you need yeah. connection with yes. me i want connection yeah. i don't need it i'm okay without yeah, it. yeah no i do need yeah. it but if you go four weekends without seeing anyone you're gonna go back to human honey, element all human beings need. honey i go on speech fasting i go for days and days without using my phone watching tv leaving home. really yeah wow. I actually days? Do and you don't that. close yeah, during days. Days. Gosh, I my do phone that. is off yeah. for five minutes no no no, no i do minutes. that voila I, I i like they call it um uh, speech, speech fast, fast yeah speech, speech fast, fast. Yeah. where you don't talk to anybody for days and you choose how many days you want to do that for i don't speak to anybody i don't use my phone i don't uh, use I don't open okay. TV. I do. I completely disconnect. I can sit with myself and just with myself for days and days. I have you to try that. Did you, did you so ever like have any epiphanies? Like so any? Like a, uh, yeah. So really? it's like a cleanse. Like yeah, it's yeah, a cleanse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have to try. I've never ever it's, done that. It's one of the like a most. Full day. It's one of the most beautiful experiences uh -huh. that, and I've tried lots of things, uh -huh. and it's one of the most rewarding and beautiful experiences you'll ever gift yourself. I've heard of that before. I've actually heard that amazing. That's amazing. So no phone, nothing. No just TV. go gym, and, and lay in bed, have a shower, eat something, just sit on the balcony, do nothing. It's a so, Sufi. It's a so, Sufi ritual. So for me, Sounds the very way, interesting. The way I do it, the uh -huh. way I do it is before I go into my speech fast. First of all, I have to notify all my friends and family that I'm not gonna be. I'm not dead. <laughs> yeah, I'm no. not dead. I just nice, choose though. not to uh, no. connect with anybody yeah. for three, four, seven days, whatever it is. The period. Seven I days. Choose. I can do that. Yeah, I have. Seven incredible. Not in yeah. Dubai. You don't. Work. No, no. Well, I can do that. I have. I have a record of doing that. That's you what I'm saying. Work. What do you know about work? But no. But this is what I'm saying. Like before I go into my fast, my mm -hmm. speech fast, mm -hmm. I make sure like I have a plan for myself. So, for instance, what are the things that I want to be working on? I have like certain spiritual goals that I'm working on. I have like my relationship with God that I'm working on. I have my relationship with myself. I feel like we all really would it would be amazing if every, it was obligatory everybody had to, to do, do that it, yeah it's so amazing the things that you get to discover so from the moment i wake up um i make sure first of all i do all my prayers i have time for me to read my quran i can sit with myself i can journal mm -hmm. i can you know like wow. there's yeah. so much planning and there's so much clarity because there's absolutely like zero mm -hmm. distraction. distraction for the lowly yeah. people that's the solution you just heard it Try it. Hats off to you, obviously. Yeah, yeah that's really interesting. <laughs> I have to I give you credit. I felt lonely during COVID, and I started to talk to my plants, and I knew once that they start, once they started talking to me back, that there the was plants. a problem. Yeah. Can I ask you yeah. guys a what's question? What's second? What's second? Wait, wait, they were How talking back to you. How can you talk with the plants? Because I was they losing my mind. They feel good. <laughs> really? No, plants feel good when you talk. Yeah, back. but you yeah, said they were talking course. back. Like I know, asked. that's what I knew. That there was a there was a problem there. Wait, the plants? The plants were talking shit to you? No, no. They were talking back. Yeah. But speaking about but. Speaking about this, I know I do talk to them in a nice way, and they they. Grow. But you talk to plants. Am I crazy, or does everyone does this? <laughs> I speak to myself when I'm when I'm doing stuff at home, talking to myself, but not Bro. thinking, talking out loud. Am I crazy? No, no, no. fucked up. I do that all the time. <laughs> I do it too. I talk yeah. loud to yeah. myself. It's My father came in a couple of weeks ago yeah. out of the shower. He's like, "Who are you talking to?" I said, "Myself." He's like. What do you mean? Nothing. I'm just talking to myself. And Bro, at school, my 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 my, my, uh, my teacher called my mom. She was like, I was I was like, your son is a little bit because I I didn't know <laughs> that. <laughs> I, I talk to myself and I'm trying to control it now. It's like I keep it inside, but it's okay, bro. You're not no. you're not crazy. I talk you're a lot to myself. Once, like, crazy. once during the day when I talk to the oh, accountability mirror, basically. It's the mirror. You just call hmm. it the oh. accountability mirror. Like, ah, oh, today you're a bitch ass. Uh, Guy, you didn't do what you're supposed to do. Oh, you're like, you so talk to like, yourself. Yeah, like, I thought, like, yeah, that's it's it. It's like, but it's like a ritual, it's like a technique you do it. Yeah, to that's it. Correct that's yourself. What was it? The guy, the bald guy, uh, can't touch me, uh, can't hurt me. Sorry, the what's his name? The bald guy that wrote the book, can't hurt me. Yeah, anyway, he talks about it. I you read a lot of books, huh? Yeah, yeah, the but author. So he talks about it, and he's like, you have to have an accountability mirror. So if you don't achieve 
the things that you're supposed to achieve on that particular day you talk to yourself to your mirror and you make fun of yourself you cuss yourself so that, out yeah you cuss yourself out so mm. that next time you make sure that you don't show that ugly face again without achieving your target really yeah, yeah. I don't know it's actually really? I don't know if that's the way you do it I mean, for guys, it works. For for men, it works. Okay. Yeah, like men but, were a little bit like yeah, yeah rough the, with ourselves. Yeah. But the I, you know, like my mom used to do it when I used when I used to be a kid. Like mm. my mom would, I would come into the kitchen. I would find my mom having a full on conversation with herself, and I used to tell her, "Mom, what's wrong with you? Are you crazy?" But then I realized I picked it up, and it's one of the healthiest habits ever. Like I can but have a alone, not in front of people. I, I mean, I don't, I don't but even. But I talk a lot to myself. But uh, that's like, yeah, very healthy. Lot. Out loud. Yeah, yeah. Out loud. weekends I do talk a lot to myself, especially if I'm angry at something or someone. Oh, it's like I... I'm talking to that person, but I'm saying it to them, but they're not in the room to hear me out. <laughs> I'm, I'm lashing out. If the they shit. heard you, they'd be scared. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> so, For me, sometimes it goes out of control. Like yeah. even in public, I'm like. Yeah. No, no, that's that's completely normal. Can I say something? So, Please. Uh, just kind of to uh, build on what, what you said. Yeah. yeah. Um, I do talk to myself a lot, but I wasn't talking to myself like facing the mirror. Yeah. So, um, there was this one time I was scrolling through Instagram and I've seen that like one of the people, they I don't remember who it was, but they were saying basically that, have you ever tried telling yourself, I love you in front of the mirror? Mm. And it was one of the practices where you actually get to, Yanni, it's kind of like a stepping stone into healing really yes yeah. I do that yeah, guys, time. guys are never gonna no, do that no, 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 I do. guys are never no. gonna go to the no, no, like, no, I love you I love you, you. I, they're I, never I, I do that See. several times per week you tell yourself in the morning you but yourself. can I look ask at you you're fucking amazing go kill it seriously but Bardia I have but you know I love myself a lot though I'm a little bit I have a question big headed the first time you had to say it to yourself or you the first time you decided you wanted to say it to yourself was it that easy to say? For me, I imagine I was, it is I was 14 like, or 15 no, no. before basketball matches. I was 14, 15. That's oh, when I first said it. That's so good. Yeah. Because I say it all the time. Because I hated losing. You'd be like, but look at yourself, girl. You girl. <laughs> no, no, no. I say it all yeah. the time. All positive affirmations in the mirror. I know, but yeah. my question is, did you, like the first time you actually looked in the mirror and you decided, like when you really <coughs> looked deep in your yes. eyes mm -hmm. and you wanted to tell yourself, I love you, was it? easy to say or no, did you feel it like easy. it was it yeah. was like initially there mm. was a slight discomfort because you i felt like the utmost feeling of vulnerability mm. but then this, this you start is, doubt this yourself is what, this is yeah. doubt. a lot of cool. doubt comes out i agree but with that. now I, yeah. I do it i feel very comfortable try it bro. See, yeah it's because yeah. this is Trust what me. i wanted to get to and this is what i wanted to tell him the first time yeah the first time i actually wanted to um practice it mm. i stood in front of the mirror and i was like uh, raja i love you and, it and felt you start so, crying no it felt so fake and <laughs> i didn't feel it and i had to repeat it like i i think i repeated it like 10 times mm. and like i think probably on the 10th time i started crying Aww. i'm like why was it so difficult for me to say it and actually mean it yeah mm. wow. now i want to ask you how do you even get the, the idea to tell myself yeah. that like what, what what was it that like made you do it I'm saying I was scrolling through Instagram and someone was saying that one of like the first stepping stones in order for you to start that healing journey is first of all to just oh, okay. stare at yeah. yourself yeah. Yeah. deep in your eyes. Mm. It's like the way that you would do to someone that you love, a friend, family mm. member yeah. or like a partner, mm. like the way that you would sit, you would hold their hand and you would look at them deep in the eye and you would tell mm. them, I love you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And do it like, to yourself. Mm. Do it to yourself. And the first time I tried it, it was so difficult. I started crying. Wow. I'm like, why was it so difficult? And from there, I started. Wallah Adim. And from there, I started. No, no, I'm saying, I, I'm saying, I find it incredibly hard for me then to. Then you like, have be to do it to, tonight when you yeah. get home. And before then I'm gonna bed. take a video and so send it to you guys. <laughs> I'm gonna send it you to know, you. Know, <laughs> if you start by telling yourself how sick you are, you're the best at what you do. F everyone else. You start by amping yourself up, getting to that point. You'll end up believing it. Because but you're going from white, going mind. from black to white, and say such a deep heart, like that extensive, is harder. But I feel like for me, the way I did it, I feel like for me at least it was the right way because once I was able to actually tell myself sincerely that I love myself, 
everything else was so easy like now like for instance like if you walk into my apartment i have like mirrors all over the place what the fuck <laughs> yeah. yeah. you need the boyfriend <laughs> <laughs> why do you have mirrors for the no, right like, reasons have, like, not have, for like, the wrong mirrors, reasons like all the bathrooms like I, I love looking at myself oh okay yeah so and <laughs> yeah yeah and, you like, and her this is a point in common yeah like and on every mirror i would leave a note for myself Wow. Like for yeah, instance, that's cute. I like that. yeah. So and with lipstick, like on one of my mirrors, I'm like, you, like on a mission. Mm. Like so, I can every morning when I wake yeah. up and I'm standing in front it. of it, I look at it. I'm like, girl, you're yeah. on a mission. You're on a mission to become the best version of yourself. Yeah, good on you. I ha- yeah, I have like on another mirror, you're gorgeous. Like and it's actually like affirmations. It, Affirmations. Mm. See, lots of people they would say, "No, it doesn't work." Whatever, whatever. No, it does, no, it does work. work. It, it does, does work. work. All right. So we have we have a challenge. Okay. Uh, it's two actually. We have two challenges. Okay. One is about ratings. Okay. We're gonna rate okay. places in Dubai. Okay. And the second one is about true or false. We're gonna mention some misconceptions, and each person uh, pick if it's true or false. Okay. 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 So we start with the rating. So we, we start get with our the rating. Ooh. Yeah. Let's do the okay. rating. Remember that six is nine. Oh yes, that's right. Okay. Remember six is nine. We didn't so print. So we we flipped. Okay. So yeah. We, we kinda, okay. <laughs> so th- this is right up your alley. Yeah. This is a dunk, a dunk uh, contest. You know. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Actually, yeah, yeah. Uh, just do it like this because if you do it like this. Yeah. Yeah. No, the no. camera will not. See. So like this. It'll be like this. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's start rating. All right. Okay. Everybody's ready. Mm-hmm. Yes. Let's do it. Mm-hmm. So, uh, Dubai more. So what, just as in like how much do you like it, 10 yeah. the best? Uh, yeah. what, one out of 10, Dubai more. One out of it's 10. A, it's a 10. Yeah, it is a 10, a 10 for me so too. I want, but everybody hates on it so seven. much. Yeah. Seven it out of 10. It has everything. The reason everybody hates on no, it and listen, everybody listen, prefers no, no, all no. of the Emirates. Yeah, but you know why? <laughs> Only for parking reasons, that's it. Parking and getting around traffic wise. Yeah. Mall wise, if you ask them strictly mall wise, they're not gonna say mall. Yeah, but if you don't know what you're shopping for, you'll never find anything. But why do you have to chill no, to see you can, people? You, you can I go use, there to chill. I mean, for me, at least I use the Dubai Mall app. I love it. Like it I know, gets me you, everywhere. Wait, you know, what's your rating? Me too. I hate Dubai what Mall. What the fuck? <laughs> I fucking hate Dubai Mall. And always you say, let's meet there, and it's always in Dubai Mall. <laughs> because it's the closest yeah. mall to my place. It's just yeah. because you, you were late to Dubai today, Mall. Mall of Emirates is five shops and two coffee shops and it's a okay. store. It's okay. Mall right. of the Emirates. Agreed. Mall, mall of, of the, the Emirates. Emirates. Mall of the Emirates is cozy. Feels like Sweden. I give, it, I give it a solid seven. Uh, I, I give it a six. I, I give it a lo- solid mall seven. Mall of the Emirates, nine out of ten. Eight. You me? Yeah. <laughs> oh, six? Yeah, I don't like it much. Yeah, I, Why not? I yeah, I, right. I, I love good. Dubai Mall. Yeah. yeah. All right, guys. Let's go. Now, now Emirates uh-huh. Hills Mall. Uh, Dubai Hills Mall. Oh, Dubai, Dubai Hills Mall. Uh, oh, Dubai yeah. Hills Mall. Yeah. Dubai Hills Mall is a I good nine. Good nine. Yeah. Good nine. We did ten. Dubai Hills it's not yeah. Dubai Mall, yeah. but it's but it's, it's good. good. It's good. It's spacious. Yeah, yeah. 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 I like the, the. There's not a lot of lines. Like yeah. it's just yeah. it's new. It yeah. smells fresh. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I like year. Year too. She doesn't. Why? Like, yeah, it's just a seven for me. First of all, it's far from where I live, Come and on. second of all, I just far find it so boring. Far from where you live, it's fifteen yeah. minutes in the car is far. Yeah, but that's still, I can her. get to Dubai Mall. It has everything. Why should you I go walk to... straight into Dubai Mall? That's why. Yeah. All right, guys. Uh, <laughs> next <with> one. You. <laughs> all right. you ready? Yeah. City Walk. After that time when I'm bowling, I give it a good city walk. Again, I, have center? I, I have mixed feelings city walk. about city walk. Oh, no, you know city, what? City walk in city. the summer. No, this. in the winter, like in the best season. In the best um, season. Listen, listen. We went, where I don't did have we go? a reason we to, to go there. Monkeys. I don't know. There was a, there's a couple of. Co- um, Bro, there's this good Greek eight. place no, that I Nola, like. Nola, Nola is the best place in I give it a solid Dubai eight. and oh, me too. winter. Nola, Nola, eight. and uh, what is Nola? Um, what is to it? be honest, I'll just give it a seven. Yeah, it's a restaurant. <laughs> I'm just like. And there's no reason for me to go there. Blue Waters. Oh, I like no, it there. My right. favorite place. No. We're, we're uh, rating uh, neighborhoods now. No, no, no. Blue Waters. No, yeah, I yeah. Um, no, 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 no. I'll just give, like, see, I love Blue Waters, but I, there isn't much to be done. Yeah. Six? Give it yeah. There we go, yeah. It's yeah. dead. It's yeah. dead. Yeah. Yeah. It's dead. It's, it's the best place in Dubai. It's all Vladimir's and It's only Vladimir's and Groshny. It's only Vladimir's and Groshny. It's Groshny. It's Groshny. All right. All right. JBR The Walk. Oh, my God. That's a one. Do Ten. we have a zero? Do hey, we have a zero? Mind. Do we have a zero? Wait, That's JBR, a one. JBR, what? Which one? JBR, no. the walk. The walk in JBR. Oh, the walk? Yeah, but you've got yeah. the wheel. But I love it. The beach is cool. Got the though. wheel. Yeah, I, I, I don't like waters. the beach yeah, much. Yeah, you're looking there. at the wheel. From oh no, no, just the JBR building. is not. The beach is cool. Yeah, it is beautiful. No, no. All right, next. Like Marbella. Um, no. So, Kite Beach. Oh. I like Kite Beach. That's a good eight. 
strong. Go nine. That's a good. Nine, nine to six. Ooh, that's a it's good a be- eight, bro. It's Type a best. Beast. I'm being lenient. The best sunsets in oh Dubai are. Listen, Kansas. listen, JJ. The best wind. JJ's in- chicken. Talk about food, bro. Talk about salt. sunsets. Salt. Burgers. Salt. I was there the other day. Oh. We yeah, was there like the other day. Oh, is it? Okay. Uh, all right. Now, food. JB are the beach. What JBR? What? Not the wall. JBR the beach. The beach? The beach? No, no, no. Uh, to be oh, honest, no, I'll give it a one. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's a one right there. Yeah. I'm not gonna say. I'm We've not gonna say why, but go in the weekend. You'll understand. No, it's terrible. Yeah. Well, what's in the weekend? It's packed. It's, you will wait, understand. Wait, wait, wait. You have to if go. you leave the like house starting. at ten, you'll get there by yeah. three p.m. Yeah. Finding parking. All parking. right. No, no, no. So no. now, uh, fly Dubai. Ooh, no. Airlines, airlines, fly Dubai. Oh, fly Dubai. Airlines. No, man. Can I? Um, it pisses me off. They're fine. Where's my eight? Yeah, I, I did eight. The as good well. thing yeah. about Fly Dubai is that they have so many destinations. Six. Like it's yes. Fly Dubai is fine. Yeah. Fly, Dubai's fly Dubai, fine. I like it. Now the one and only Emirates Health, uh, Emirates Fly Airlines. Dubai was Emirates eight. Airlines. Yeah, Emirates Airlines. Ten. Oh. I mean, I, I, I like Emirates Airlines, that. but I would go probably for Qatar Airways. Me I as mean, well. Qatar is better. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Qatar is much better. Their food is better. Their service is better. I'm happy. Yeah, yeah, I think so. I don't think I've ever flown. I Qatar. flew with Qatar from Miami to Doha. That was the best oh sixteen hours experience I've had. Yeah. All right, guys. The next one is the one of the biggest one as well. Etihad Airlines. Have you tried never it? flown? Uh, yeah, I've never, never used flown. It, so yeah, never use them. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. No, I don't want to pass judgment. Trying to do it. Do it. I'm trying. I'm trying. <laughs> Etihad so, for me nine. I don't know. Yeah, me you too. You don't know. It's not. okay. I've never, I've never flown. Actually, no. no. I'll give it a seven. It's not actually that great. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. But Qatar, in my opinion, is the best. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I put yeah. Singapore. All right, now, Singapore. now some restaurants. Oh, Singapore, I like Singapore. Singapore Airlines, amazing. Yeah, I love Singapore amazing. Airlines. Yeah. I never tried them. Guys, salt. Oh yes. Yeah, yeah salt ten. gets a ten. Salt, salt is the best. And the worst ice cream. I like how they can accommodate you. They can give you like the that truffle shit. Yeah, I give it a ten. Oh, you fell for the game. You fell for the game. Can we? Can, can salt yeah. please have uh, checked as soup sponsor? Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Again, pickles. Pickles. Yeah, I haven't no. tried them. Come on, bro. Guys, pickles in a burger. Yeah. I hate when people take him out. It's no, good for me. Actually. Pickle, uh, the actual burger place. I don't know. Ah, I don't no, know. Oh, never I, tried I don't it. Know it. Yeah. Never tried it. All right. Same here. I thought we were talking about gherkins. No, guys, yeah. we're getting a little bit like a little bit luxury. We're about Zuma. Oh, what? Yeah. Food I, or club? Fuck, no. Oh, the music the whole is thing, amazing. The whole thing. I love it. The yeah. Whole experience. Love Zuma. I give, it, I give it a seven. Uh, it's too three. Stu- I'll give too, it a ten. It's too for stuck the music. up for me. It's too. Uh, it's too stuck up. Uh, I mean, you go there on the weekend, you understand. It's why, too stuck why up. I give it it's just too stuck up. Guys. Too many. Yeah. Namos. Too many. There, there, there you go. Too many workers. You, you smell I mean, me? Namos. Too many workers. That's amazing. Okay. Namos. That's amazing. I haven't been. What? Namos. I'll give it a five. We're we'll planning to go to Namos all together. No, Namos is not. Yeah. What do you mean? Like I'm trying to be nice. Namos is terrible. Namos is terrible. Overpriced, overhyped, zero service, terrible. Full of, I agree. Full of, full Drinks of, are those, bad. Full of food working, is bad. Full, full of working <laughs> girls. I'm sorry. <laughs> and men that are there to cheat on their wives. I'm sorry. I'm All sorry. right. Straight up. So uh, now, now hotels, Atlantis. Oh, oh yeah. Atlantis, Atlantis the, or the, the, the Royal, yeah, or is it no, the new Atlantis one? Atlantis, the, the old one, not the Royal. Oh. The old one, the That's water park. That's a bit dated. The water park, the water yeah, park. I'm a, I'm a sucker for water. I'm a water park yeah. for the, you know that Where's one that you think yeah, 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 goes yeah, like yeah, that's yeah, the one. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> my heart bumped up here and down. There you go. Definitely. Yeah. Uh, all right. Wait, six. Six. six? For Atlantis. Yeah. Atlantis six. Oh, it's dated. It's so dated. It needs a refurb. All right, five palm. Five pounds? Okay, okay, okay. Wait, 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 I have to ask though, I have to ask though, I have to, I have to ask, listen, no, no, wait, I have to say though, five palm, listen, listen, listen. Which one? If we rate it no, no, if you are there, you are a questionable human being. Wait, 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 are we talking about the crowd or are we talking about the place? The place, the crowd, it's both, it's the same thing. I'm so sorry, both of them. If it's everything, then it's a one. Yeah. No, for me, it's the music wise. I've had a great experience there. It's this. <laughs> with all of them London boys with gold teeth and that? No, no, no. But like the music's great. <laughs> what the music, fuck? She gave eight. Yeah, music, I love music it. Music is amazing, bro. Hip hop. You do not R&B. want hip hop and R and B. You do not want to find your man there. Trust yeah. me. No, I know. No, I know, you want to find them where? No, I'm not. Yeah. All right, Burj Al Arab, guys. Burj Al Arab. The, the girl, the, the guy that's got uh, a wife. That's dated as well. Where? What? Yeah. Burj Al Arab no. is like a legend. Never been. It's like never the been. whole thing. It's not interested. It's too bougie for so, me. To be honest, like it's yeah. really outdated. It is outdated. The only it's thing it's prob- like the jewel of Dubai. But the most beautiful restaurant. Mm. 
Yeah. Like the restaurant Never out been. the front. I mean, For me, been. to be honest, if there's anything that I love, like that's right next to Burj Al Arab, is Somersault. I love Somersault. Never but been. Maybe it's either. amazing. Uh, no, no the, it's the beach club. Yeah. It's very nice. It's very quiet, mm-hmm. family oriented. Mm-hmm. You wouldn't find. I'll lots try. Of... Never been. Next yeah. one. Next one, guys, <laughs> is. Uh, oh, sorry, babe. Sorry. No, 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 no. I'm I was, I was about telling him we should go next yeah. time. We, we should, should go, go yeah, next yeah. time. Yeah. Let's go hit some salt up. Give it some Guys, summer sugar. I, I'm, I'm <laughs> putting my rating first before saying what's the, the next thing. Business Bay. I rate it as an Business eight. Business Bay. Ah, listen, there's two sides. It's there's across the sides. bridge Bro, and it's the main you, side. Wanna, Business Bay. My week, side is the best side. But if it's a weekday and it's after 6 p.m. and you're trying to get in, I'm gonna sk- I'm trying to find the one. Where's the one? You know what? Yeah. My favorite bar is in St. Regis, the hidden bar above Basta. That's 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 I can't my find favorite. The one. You just, oh, yesterday I was stuck in like in business, business bay for 40 minutes. So. Oh no. I, yeah. I love the main How are you gonna for food. It? Yeah, the main is great. Wait, okay. this, the main this is, is good. There's a couple of Okay, then I'm going to even give it an eight. I'll give it a 7, bro. <laughs> <laughs> 7? You yeah. like it more? Yeah. Haptor <laughs> City. Haptor <laughs> City. Haptor City is crazy. What about you? You gave it 71? No, I'm giving it with traffic without traffic without traffic. But all of Dubai's traffic, so everything's a one for you. All right, guys, the last the worst in business. The last the last one, Marina. Oh, I love Marina. Marina's I love it. Yeah. Marina's a 10. Yeah. Marina's a 10. I love Marina. Listen, Marina's I'm a, a Marina 10. boy. Yes. Marina's I'm a, a 10. Marina boy. Listen, Marina's a 10, come period. Yeah. Emar 6, Promenade, come on now. Silverine, that bridge, come on now. Bro, look, Address look, Pool, look come on now. It's just, I just do not like it. And Guys, it's a different vibe. Yeah. Different. I love Marina. I love Marina. I've always been there the of whole course, time. Of course. Guys, of course. second challenge. Okay, true or false? True or false. All right, let's see. Right. Ready? Yeah. yeah. Go. All right. Um, living um, with your parents after 18, is it a is a good choice? For who? Living with your parents of after course. 18 is a good choice. Of course it's a good choice. Come on. No. Raja, come I, on. I've left home when I was 14. I was in boarding school. So I, I cannot would, possibly yeah. agree. I <laughs> would <laughs> Sorry, it finally wish. came out. See, that's I good. It finally came out. I would Sorry, wish to, to spend every more, single... More, more. I wish more, I was with them till I was yeah. 25. No, like, guys. I, not to I be living with them in the same house. In general. Because I think if you can stay with your parents for as long as possible, like that's amazing. But I left earlier because we were... My, my family traveled quite a bit but uh, I think if you get along with your family 100% stay with them as long as possible of course cool. you're going to regret all the time yeah. yeah. alright the next one is interesting beauty is the most important aspect for men when it comes to dating mm. um, one of no. one, one of, of one of one of the most important factors one of yes uh, one, one of yes we're visual one I don't know what's yes. wrong with Raja no, today. no like I don't one know. of yes but yeah. I don't think because yeah. I have seen like Guys, we're like, getting it, yeah, like, one of, no. it's not the they don't no, see, no, no, no. And they have a problem with their vision. Men are really? very Men visual are creatures. That's why you wear makeup. <laughs> that, but it's yeah. also that's why we lie. Yeah. Let's that's keep why it you real. Lie. If oh we weren't gosh. visual creatures, you would not spend a single dirham on lipstick. <laughs> no, honey, like I put on lipstick right. for myself. Yeah. No, we don't. No, 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 no. Voila, it is for myself. She has a lot of mirrors in her apartment. Next question, guys. Wealth is the most important aspect. For women, when it comes to dating, what no, is? that's not true. Wealth, wealth and money no. and the status. No, 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 no that's what not. What do you mean true. by wealth, though? The guy has to be one he, of the he, aspects. He, no, wealth sounds one extreme. Of, yes, yeah. I think, I think the guy he, has to have his shit together, and she can see shit. potential. He, yeah, exactly. Yeah, hundred percent. Hundred percent. I think if your woman believes in you and you're not just right there yet, so I think yeah. she'll yeah. stick around. She'll Agreed. stick around. Yeah, she's just like an investment. Until right. some rich dude comes and swoops her right. in front of you. Uh, <laughs> and five pumps. <laughs> Babe, let me fly you out to some place. Okay, okay. I'm coming. Luck, uh, luck is one of the factors of success. What? Luck no. is one of the factors no. of success. No. no. It is. Yeah. One of the factors, luck, yeah. No, if you no. work harder, you find more no. luck. So no. it's not luck. Yeah. That is so silly. Uh, I mean, I don't believe that uh, there's anything called there's luck. No there's a given yeah. time. There's a given time and chance for everyone, and luck plays a major role in yeah. it. Yeah. If you're lucky, you can make it one year. If you're unlucky, mm-hmm. you can make no. it six years. Luck, 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 luck is very luck random. Luck is when opportunity meets preparation. Yes, let me thank tell you. you. Let me tell Agreed. you. Let me tell you. You worked super hard on four deals. They all flopped. One deal comes right on your lap that you never even worked on. That's a part of luck. No, that's because you've worked yeah. hard for the four deals. Exactly. Exactly. All right, guys. Luck is yeah. from, from, from almighty. It happens. Yeah, yeah luck. I, 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 I agree. Is. Okay, right. let, let's add this one. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, love can last forever. Hell. Uh, love can last no, forever. forever. No, 
Nothing no. lasts. Nothing lasts forever. Nothing lasts forever. Oh, I think nothing so. Well, come on. No. There's only us. No. 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 Nothing lasts forever. Hope? You, you guys, nothing lasts forever. You, got, you, you guys been watching too many movies from the 70s. No, but can I'm I, talking about can the I, meaning no. of love. No. Yeah. You cannot no. fall out of love with your parents, with your friends, but with that's your family. No, you, you yeah, I'm talking in general love, family. the feeling of love. Mm. If you can do it with your family, it can happen with person who's not your family. I mean, I believe in that, bro. How we many? Can, how we many? can debate it. Okay. We can right. debate it one day. All right. All right. I've, I've, I believe that love takes different forms. Uh, like with time, it yeah. takes different forms, and 100%. it's not love because love. If I have, if I ask you to define love, my definition, her definition, everyone's be definition different. is different for yeah. love. Yeah. So for me, I don't believe that love 100%. lasts forever. Another one: smart working people always beat hard working people. Fucking true. Wait, yeah, wait, wait, 100%. wait, wait, wait. Smart working people always beat hard working people. What's what's so confusing? It's, <laughs> no, come nope. on, so idea, <laughs> man. I nope. mean, uh, no, nope. come on, no. Nope. That's if nope. you work smart, you can I, always I can't outbeat. I can decide if it's true. Yeah. Yeah. No. You have, you have. No. It's smart working. It's does it. He doesn't mean intelligence. It's just smart working. Yeah. It's not. Got, it doesn't have anything to agree. do with intelligence. I don't agree. I don't agree. Right. So people if that you're work hard working hard. on something that isn't working. Then you think that no, that's different. That's being that's no, being but stupid. That's stu no, it's not. It's being not smart, which is okay, cool. Hard work. But I I don't believe that. I don't, like everyone says, work smart, not hard. But listen, if you, you in order to work smart, you have to work, to work a lot of hard, hard. in yeah, order to true. understand how to work, work smart. smart. I, I completely agree. So no, I don't agree with you. All right, this one is a little bit. Bardia, uh, you're so wise. Uh, <laughs> this one is a little bit. This one is a little bit like uh, controversial. Mm -hmm. Men cheat more than women. <laughs> It is true. Fuck it's not no. even controversial. Not in 2024. You, you, you said true. You said true. No, 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 no. Uh, false. That's false. No, no, no. That's I false. Know. Women oh. treat, I, women cheat on. way more I than men. Know. That's not women true. Women cheat it's way equal. more than men. I way more than men. I don't. Way more than men. Women oh. cheat way more than men. Period. With the Instagram platform, way more than men. Actually, yeah. <laughs> women hold the key to sex. Men just get whatever they can. You can open up your DM now and pick up your phone and, and DM back ten guys. I have to, ch I'll have to be one of the guys chasing you. So no. And with yeah, today, but it doesn't mean I, I would cheat. Yeah, I, I know, exactly. but women chase more than men. But women don't realize that they're cheating. Micro cheating is cheating. No, we're entertaining about, someone is we're cheating. We're talking no, what about is the cheating. Thing. The thing, bro. <laughs> listen, listen. Let me just. What thing? What's the thing? This, why? Why are you doing listen, this? Listen, listen, listen. The birds and the bees. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. It, it sounds bad because it's coming from a man mouth. Oh, he loves Andrew Tate. All of that shit, but. Sadia said it herself. She's a woman, right? Yeah. She said women cheat more than men. Ooh, Thank you. She's a that. woman. It, Thank you. No, but it's, it's, I'm not going to take no. one person's words. No, exactly. No, it goes no, both ways. No, and I'm not going to Yeah, but you said true. No, 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 no. All right. No, I. I micro cheating is cheating. Just because you don't sleep with someone doesn't mean that you're not cheating. But you on guys, micro cheap, macro cheap, all oh, kinds no, of cheap. We micro cheat a lot, bro. We trying to run off the money. We micro cheat a lot. We trying to run off the money. Our value is defined by one thing: success. My girlfriend would kill me today. Your value is defined more about your looks and beauty than it is for us, than it is when it comes well, to us no, chasing. Well, no, it's not That's true. Not I, to like, I disagree cheating. with you. No, that is so no, not true. No, no. All right, so. we will debate it another, in another podcast. I think so. Actually, this will be a recurring episode once a month. Yeah. And even the people, they will most of the time, they'll come back. Yeah. I hope you like it to the point my next time. I this was great. <laughs> we'll do it earlier. We'll, 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 we'll do it earlier. So yeah, of course. I'll be a better All right, next one, next one. What are you saying? Everyone leaves Dubai one day. Um, oh. Yeah, that's true. That's true. That's true. I don't. I, think so. I mean, if you if so. if you call a place a home, if you call a place home, mm. I don't think you. I don't. Yeah, you don't have to. I don't know. Like it's, it's hard to say. And you don't have to, Some like, people say that, that they were only meant to be here for a year and they're still here yeah, 25 yeah. years later. Or remember, like, a lot of visa things happening from the government that's making it easier for people. Yeah. So yeah. It's when I moved here, it was like, you know, everyone stabbed each other in the back because they only had a three-year plan to be here, drain as much money as possible and leave. Now with golden visas and, like, things are kind of changing. Interesting. But, but it's hard for me to say, like, I can I only look at it from one perspective. I can't see myself at 65 retired here. I want to retire in you know, in a warm tropical place like a Philippines or Colombia, or, or, like somewhere like not capitalistic, more yeah. about nature, spiritual. I want to die or spend the last years of my life there. I don't want to be caught up in this buzz at 60. Me, I want to so end it in Colombia so, or uh, Cuba. Medellin. <laughs> Medellin. North of Sweden, in the, in the snow. That, that's another one Guys, in the timber house. again, the between lifestyle. Change your mindset. You can be, live between cities. That's what I want to do. 
All right, uh, the last one. Oh, actually, there's a few more. Not, this is not the last one. Okay, this one is a little bit interesting. You can't find a significant other in Dubai. Can't? can't? You can't. That's false. You can't I find mean, a significant other. You can. That's false. That's false. You can. You can. Of course, you can. can. Yeah, you I can. Mean, I think you, you can. can. So you can't or you can? Yeah, you cannot exactly. find no, you a significant can. other in Dubai. You, you can. It's Nothing false. is impossible, but it's super hard. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's trial and error. Exactly. It's a numbers game, bro. It's a numbers game. Come on. You increase the pool, you increase your chances. All right, guys. With mad body counts. You cannot save money in Dubai? Let's make it as a rapid fire. I mean, it's no, also of course you can. Yeah. I mean, you can. I'm good in saving money. Priority. You can. I'm good in the. I'm I good in it. I stack yeah. every month. I don't go Zoom on like yeah, the rest of you guys. It's hard I stack my money. I, a, I don't yeah. go out. I have a hole in my hand. So. Okay. Everybody works in real estate in Dubai, directly or indirectly. True. Indirectly. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Directly or indirectly. Yeah. <laughs> I oh my gosh. So. True. so listen, listen. I have a client. Um, it's a friend. Um, so you know, <laughs> take care of me. Yeah. All right. Cool. If you, if you party in five. Palm specifically, you are a questionable person. No, 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 wait, 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 you are a questionable wait, person. Wait, 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 I didn't know. I'm not a questionable person. <laughs> I enjoyed my stay. I had a big balcony, full sea view. I liked it, but I kind of realized. Okay, it. now, what about now? Questionable. Yeah, you are. <laughs> yeah, you are, you are. You are. All it's right, not guys. Just five you palm. Are. It's also five JVC. I think it's a five thing. I yeah, go to I five think, JVC yeah. just no, five JVC is a little oh, bit. Come on. Down a little why, bit. Why, why the hell would you want to go to five? Why? What's wrong with yeah, that? Yeah, it's good. Bro, that like yeah, a, what? The crowd ain't that different. But but, so. but, but I'm, I don't go downstairs to party. I take I take one of the two bedrooms yeah, and just nice. chill by the pool, by the pool, you know, on the balcony. Yeah, just yeah because chill. they have yeah they have a pool uh, inside. Yeah, but bro, that pool is tiny. Times, what are you gonna do with it? Good, you chill there. I've just you yeah, might as well sit in your bath. Get out. Last one. It's about the last one is about Nikki specifically. About me. Views. I've been there. If you have if you have room number forty two one one. Okay. It's a two bedroom. You're, you're, if you're seeing the entire Dubai skyline, I mean, you're seeing Palm. When the sunset hits, you're just chilling, drinking a little no, bit it's by the nice. pool, just by the balcony. For, try out the room number 41 or 42, 11. <laughs> <laughs> it's a perfect view. I'm telling you. Like, this is good. Telling hey, cool. You. All right, the, the guys, the last one. <laughs> that was a good one, sir. <laughs> White <laughs> people <laughs> don't understand the difference between mashallah and inshallah. <laughs> Is that White true or false? That's false, man. White, I know, White right. people I don't, don't know the yeah. difference between mashallah and inshallah. No, that's false. Of course they do. No, don't they? Don't. Yeah, that's yeah. Nikki. And Nikki, <laughs> do you know the difference between mashallah and inshallah? I do. What's what mashallah? What is the difference? Nikki? Thank you so much for joining us today. <laughs> no, I do. It is. Um... Oh, the hands are her hands are bonded. <laughs> She's like this. No, I do. I do. Yeah. I do. Just give me a second. So inshallah. Okay, so it's true. Right. So it's yeah. true, guys. <laughs> <laughs> guys, you've been checked. No, wait, wait, wait. I know now. Oh. So wait. Um, inshallah is God willing. No, I, bro. No, is like you know, it's and God then willing. inshallah is like inshallah is like congratulations. No. no. <laughs> no, no, no. Inshallah means God willing. Yeah. Like if God, like okay. I see you tomorrow, and you say inshallah, inshallah. as in let's if God wants to. Yes. Mashallah is if you've done something really good, like a pat on. Oh, the back. good. That's sorry. That's yeah. what I meant. No, yeah. and, 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 like congratulations. Yeah. 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 Sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I meant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you're almost genuinely though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It you're, is. You're good. I would have got that. Leave it in a comment I'm if you think so. Right. Yes. Guys, saying, thank oh, you so you much. So I would say, mashallah, you look okay. so pretty. Like basically, we use the word mashallah is to bless something. Okay. Without you giving You've them been evil. Blessed. Exactly. Been blessed. You've right. been blessed. Guys, we're gonna we're gonna close it. Anybody you want to say something? Uh, yeah. Sorry for being so uh, you know aggressive when I talk. No, it was <laughs> cool. Passion. Passion is good. No, this was great. Was that checked? Bye bye. Subscribe and like. Leave a comment. My All right. Well, <laughs> <laughs> done. We're done, Zia. Yeah, good. That was good. That was good. It was it was nice, right? Entertaining. Yeah. All right. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's on YouTube. No, wait, guys. Uh, we weeks. need to take a picture. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Get us a little picture. picture. Uh, my boy, uh, uh, big man. Zia, can you take a picture? Like, you know what I'm saying? Bro, here you go. Okay, you take and you send us. Oh, right? yeah.